welcome back to Clock Tower Let's Plays by Adam Cloud 309. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I accidentally called them uh, role plays in the last video. Oh well, you all have to start somewhere. Our story begins with Alyssa, main protagonist, reading a letter from her mother, who apparently was sent to boarding school six years ago, and was told not to come home, ever, because obviously her mom was having wild, sexy parties while she was gone. Goodness, she's Asian, and now she's British. British Asians, hmm, it's possible, I think. She looks Norwegian though, her mom. Hmm. Mother's on the telephone, what do I do? No answer? I'm going to come home. It doesn't matter that I was given explicit instruction not to come home. No. What do I do? I come home. Ah, oh, look at this house. I love this house. It's so devoid of furniture. <laughs> it's not funny. Actually, it's devoid of main rooms that you can go into. Uh oh. Doors. Creepy doors. Watch out for the doors. They're going to attack you. <laughs> that luggage. <laughs> That's all she had? No, that can't be everything. I'm sure she left most of it at the dorm. Alright. Let's go into the creepy kitchen where the doors are likely to kill us on contact. Oh. One almost bit her. Now who's this? Hmm. Worst thing about having a boarding house. People stay in your house. Strangers that you really don't know are paying you money, of course, to stay in your house creepy. Especially when they're grabby, like this. God, you can almost smell each other's breath that close. <laughs> He's laughing maniacally right now as he climbs the stairs. <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you and your dog, too. And so, we begin. Without our luggage, she made it like, go to the hammer space. Ah, into the dining room. Mm. So many windows. Ah, grandfather clocks. They're nice. Apparently they keep perfect time, too. Roaring fireplace. Someone's been tending the fire. Nothing in the dining room. Boring room. Same point. Jar of glowy water. Gotta love a jar of glowy water. Everybody wants one. With my jar of glowy water, I could beat that guy who had a jar of dirt. I'm sure I could beat him. What am I going to do with art and antiquities? Of course, unless it's an antique sword, I'll just... Nah, she won't use a sword. She'll use antique shoes! Throw them to people. Look 
to this somebody's room and it's not interesting apparently it's not locked it's just not interesting so we're not gonna go with it but at least she thinks her own room is interesting window with lots of light chandelier bed yeah desk nice and tidy ladies and neat freak what are they? Ooh, shiny. Capcom and they're shiny. Gotta love shiny objects. Lavender water. Guess what it does? Who knows, but it's drinkable and it's lavender. If anybody actually wants to do their research, lavender is sometimes used for calming effects. More fire. Seriously, they're gonna set this place on fire with accidentally. Useless door. Ah, look at this. Nothing prettier than a giant sigil glowing blue with weird intrinsic writing on it. Let's touch it. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have touched it. That one light there. It was gonna troll you. It's like, I'm coming back. Welcome to the panic meter. I'm sure I was scared by that, but by this expression. This expression? You can't tell. Fire! See, I told you they were gonna burn the house. Oh. They could have burned the house. There's a hole there, practically. Next thing you know, the whole wall. And the ceiling, the floor. And I keep crawling now. Ooh, you can almost see a first skirt. It's. A, is that a woman? I, I'm gonna assume that's a woman statue. It's a crying with blood woman statue who's now headless. Like the famous Greek statues. Everyone needs a famous Greek headless statue that happens to have a piece of paper and a holy water bottle inside. Sure. I'm so wondering how that survived all those days inside there. The answer? It's sacred. Sacred objects always last longer than normal objects. If it isn't sacred, then it's not going to last. Huh, patron saint? Wouldn't that be matron? She is a woman after all. Ah, never mind. Crawl space. She's almost like far, except she has less cracks to go through. Oop, wrong game. Holy water, sigils. If you weren't reading, they break. Ah! My eyes! Blasted glass in the eye! That's made of magical energy that just dissipated. Don't ask questions. And another one that's completely black. Well, we can't get through there anyway. Nancy, her mother. First thing I want to do is plunder through my mom's room. Three-way folded mirror, wardrobe. My God, is that a Windows 98? I think so old. It's probably 3.11. Strange clock that needs winding gear. Interesting woman. Oh well, let's mess with the shiny. To the shiny. They'll get you every time. At this point, she's saying something on the lines of, Mom, I came back. And 
and Q. See, I'm psychic. That and I probably have the script in front of me and I'm not saying anything. Ha ha ha. Ah yes, someone's been having some light reading before bed. While they were at it, they stuck the most powerful nail file they could find. Music is playing at this point, and no, it's not coming from there. Fantasy Impromptu. Awesome music. Awesome composer. Yes, I'm going to definitely open the door with the shiny portal in it and just run through it. Hmm. Not the wisest move. If you're wondering, yes, that picture. That picture is definitely the man that you saw earlier. The grabby man. Hurry, Alyssa, run back through the portal. Don't just sit on your fanny. Mm, too late. Portal's gone. You are stuck. It's like the girl's never played a video game in her life. Oh, wait. Finally, everything seems to have calmed down, except, boy, it looks like a mess, and what's that noise? Ah! Fire! Explosions with fake martial stunt, get-out-of-the-way techniques. Watch me crawl. Ah, uh, great. I went through a portal in time, and I'm in World War... What is it? One? Yes. World War One. Tis, tis, Alyssa. Can't you pick better points in time? Teleport. I mean, at least if you teleported to World War One, couldn't you have teleported to the United States? It was a bit safer there. A bit. We were all a little crazy then, too, though. But anyway. Alright, moving on. Ah. So much cobble, torn up stuff, and cans, and flyer. I love a flyer. Christmas Eve 1942. Ah. Boy, we really did go back. To a time. A time when I could turn invisible. Can you see me? No? Dang it. Alyssa says, it's a dead body. I must touch it. Or at least stare at its corpse and not feel awkward at all. But the ghost. The ghost popping up behind me. Now that, that's gonna give me shivers. The ring. Give me back my ring. Do you mean the one that was on the TV? I didn't watch the tape, I swear. I don't know about the little girl that's in the well. Um, nothing. Hmm. I'm just gonna stand here and look at you. Hello. Hmm. Conversation with the dead. Wait, wait, oh my god, it's hugging me. Hugs from the dead. Run. He has cooties. Engagement ring. Hmm. We're going to get a long spiritual healing explanation that goes something along the lines of put the ring into the box. Then put that box into another box. And then put... Ah, uh, never mind. You know that one already. And then when it arrives, someone gets to smash it. Go to menu, engagement ring. I've healed the dead. I'm an exorcist. I'm a flippin' exorcist. Oh, I just 
turn them black there for a minute. Sorry about that. Ah. Uh, drinking fountain. Wonder if it's poisoned. Better hope it's not poisoned. Well, this doesn't bode well. Oh yeah, the Infantasine property has been playing pretty much this whole time throughout this entire section. And it's coming from that concert hall over there. Which we just know it's a hall. Somehow. Super sigil smashing into your face thing again. I want to turn. Turn. Don't let it. Audience gets smashed by glass in their face. Plus side, the door's open. The first of many doors to come. Down the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs. Everybody down the stairs. Ugh. Rusty lamps. Somebody hasn't been cleaning. What is that? Ghost? doesn't like water to the face. Honestly, who does? This person just randomly smacked me with the water upside the face. I would not be happy. I'd probably chase that person down and try to hug them. Which, not. Oh well, ghost is more nicer about it. They only want to hug you to mm, death. Uh, journal, unfinished letter. I give them a pen. The pen, they say, is mightier than the sword. I disagree. The snow that's going to fall and bury you alive. Now that, that's more powerful than the sword. Of course, I don't exactly control the weather. Or do I? I made it snow. <laughs> when you start believing yourself, you have divine powers. There's something wrong. Don't get hit by the glass. Don't hit get by the glass. Oh, missed. Ha <laughs> ha. No glass in my face today. Another lavender water. We're stockpiling these babies. Playing on this tiny little video screen. It's not really used to me since I'm not using my TV. But, you know. Over the bridge, we go. Hmm, says so something along the lines of... Really, I can't make that out, but one says Fort Hill Street, I think. The other one says something with a K. Another holy water. Back. And into Norton's tailor shop. I wonder if I can get this dress mended. Or cut. I mean, seriously, this thing just, it, it lacks style. Haha, <laughs> y'all can't see me. I like this curtain. Wait, I can see through the curtain. Shouldn't someone be able to see through it too, if they're on the other side? That's a very fancy curtain. Otherwise. Dad's letter. Dear May, how are you? I'm now in France, in region only. Wow. They have a place that looks like champagne. Looks like little May has been left alone by herself while her dad has went off to war. I'm sure it wasn't her favorite idea to go there. 
into the hole? Wait, I have a better idea. Door number one is better than door number two. Ah, look, another one of these sigils. Everybody loves these things. What they don't love is glass to the face. Ah, my head! Glass, glass in the back of my head now. Never gonna get this glass out. Let's see. Oh! Well, that's not good. Can't hear it, but I'm sure that made a loud noise. Hmm. Is it just me, or does he look like he's missing a hand? Sounds like that's been a while. Oh well. We have a key, and we'll be stopping here.